Hello everyone, and welcome back to another episode of my Pikmin playthrough. It is day 11, as well as episode 11, and I've actually had a failed recording. I didn't have to reset the day because I had a disaster, I had to reset the recording because the game crashed. Which was interesting. So, we're about a third of the way through the time that we have to complete this game. We've completed the impact site, the forest navel, and now the forest of hope as well. We now need to go to the distant spring, where 10 of the 11 parts that we still need remain. We're going to hop straight into it, and hopefully I can get two parts and possibly a third one if luck is on my side. So we're going to hop back into the distant spring, and hopefully my recording won't crash this time, because that was quite annoying, because it was going quite well to start with. First things first, this area is where you need to be very skilled in order to get several parts a day. We're going to start off with going to the Red Onion. We want a hundred Red Pikmin. Because there are a couple of enemies in the way that we need to get rid of, otherwise they'll cause a problem with getting a different part back, as I found out the hard way on my practice file. First things first, let's get rid of this. This is a bull bear, it is a very tough and annoying enemy. They have slightly more health than the bull bear, or bull borb, sorry, and they are very ruthless with killing Pikmin. Second of all, let's get rid of this flying enemy because he is annoying. This enemy will actually go in our base, so he needs to go. Got him. Okay. Those are both of the annoying enemies out the way that will get in our path. Next thing I'm going to do is disband my whole squad here. We're going to punch this enemy. So it wakes up and we're going to run off. The reason being, I want this enemy to turn around so it's got its back faced towards me. I'm going to run back to our base because these enemies are not allowed in our base. And this way he will turn around and head back to where he was, go back to sleep, and then he's a much easier target to get rid of. And this is the last enemy in our path that we need to get rid of today. We especially need this enemy out of the way because he's guarding some bomb rocks that I want to use. There we go, nice and easy. Okay, I'm missing two though. Okay, we're trying to take it back. We won't take these back yet, because my red population is fine. Okay, now let's actually try to get a ship piece, now that that is out of the way. And I'm doing roughly as well as I was last time, the only difference is I didn't have five Pikmin. I did lose five Pikmin to the first bull bear because I got a bit nervous as the flying enemy was hovering around. So I wasn't playing to the best of my ability. But... I would prefer if the recording didn't crash, because it's kind of annoying when that happens. Okay, let's take out a hundred blue Pikmin, because both of the parts I want require us to go into the water. So this one's a bit finicky. It's not the worst piece, by any means. It's just a bit difficult to get it. So what we want to do is we want to throw our blue Pikmin and kind of just throw them all around on here. We need 20 for this to work. We're going to disband the rest. We want to stick them here. And we need to do blues for this. You can try a different colour. It's not recommended though because, well, they have to go through the water to get this piece back regardless. Right. Can they pick the piece up? Oh. No, you had it. I didn't get enough up, because I thought they weren't going to grab it. This happened on my practice file as well. That one's just... I need more than one anyways. Okay, we'll try that again. I only need like six more up there, so... Okay. 
Try this again. Doesn't matter if the blues fall into the water, they can swim anyways. Alright, now can you pick this up for me? There we go. That's what I should have done with to start off with. Ugh. Worst time for a pop-up. Okay, Olimar's not doing I found my thing. There we go. I found the repair type bolt. This robotic marble can fix just about anything in the ship that's broken. That's good, because I get terribly bored fixing little glitches. Kind of ironic he mentioned glitches considering what I had earlier with uh, my recording not working. Right, where are the rest of the Pikmin? Okay, there's still a couple over there. Those are the ones that fell off the wall. There's about 30 on there. Right, I'm going to disband them all here. We'll go get the others over here so I don't leave any behind. Okay, part one back. Let's see if I can get the second one. Repair type bolt. This looks like an ordinary bolt, but it is actually a repair robot. I've now recovered 20 out of 30 parts. If I can find just nine more, I should be able to increase my ship's capabilities. Okay, as long as we get one part per day, we will be good. I'm hoping I can get out of this area by day 15, though. Or day 16, rather. I'm hoping day 15 will be the last day I need in here. But most of the parts in here will take me an entire episode to get. So the next part, uh, I think it's... Where is it? Where's the next part that I want? I think it is that one over there. Yes, it is this one here by the Wally Wogs, and these enemies are really annoying in this game, to put it lightly. Especially when they do that. Okay, so for this part, we need to rebuild this bridge. Regardless of what colour pick you use, these enemies are stupid. They like to go for a swim, lose most of their health, and then realise they have no health left, so they need to fly on. Making them very easy pickings. Okay, I don't want the Pikmin taking these parts back though. Or not these parts, these corpses. There is an enemy there, but luckily we don't actually have to do anything to it. Gosh, that noise is really annoying that they're making. Okay, we want Pikmin on the bridge. Not underneath the bridge, that's how you glitch through the floor. Okay, we just need the blues to rebuild this and then we can move on to the next plan. Now, on my practice file I actually got three parts on this day, but I did an absolutely horrible job on the next day and didn't even get one back. So I'd rather get three or two parts on this day get the enemies out of the way so that I can use the bomb rocks because that's what I want to do for the rest of the day okay they're nearly done thankfully the wallywogs are not in the way that they were before because it jumped over to try and get us okay one more bit and they should be done I know I'm not I don't know one more piece I know I'm not really spending my time efficiently. In fact, I'm going to take some of Oh, never mind. I should have done that before. Okay. So, believe it or not, you don't actually have to fight this enemy. You can just completely avoid it by taking the Pikmin through the water. And then, we'll go over to here. I found my massage machine. Put this right down in the lower back area and let it go to work. I can't wait until I get it installed again, as my lower lumbar region has been paining me ever since the crash. Ah, sweet relief. Okay, I'm going to pick this part up. And then the last 50 Pikmin that we have. I'm going to pick them up. You see, they just go straight around the enemy. But with my other 50 Pikmin, 
we are going to first of all put them here and the reason is because I need to distract this Wallywog so it doesn't try to crush the Pikmin bringing the part back. So if I have my captain here, it's going to go after Olimar instead of the Pikmin on the bridge. So as long as I stay near it, it will go after me rather than my Pikmin. And this way I don't have to fight a really annoying enemy. There we go. Got past. It can't get my Pikmin anymore which is exactly what I wanted. Where is... Oh, wrong button. I'm missing one. Wrong button again, it's Y. Oh, it took one of the corpses back. Well, it didn't get killed, so that's good. And there we go. Mark, ma uh, massage machine back. That's the second part that I wanted, and I've got it back now. Massage machine. I've been walking so much lately, I'm really looking forward to using this. I've now recovered 21 out of 30 parts. If I can find just 8 more, I should be able to increase my ship's capabilities. Okay. And sure, you can increase your population by 1. Okay. That's all we need the blues for at the moment, unless I can think of something else for them to do. Actually, let's uh, let's increase their population. Let's keep 30 of them. Yes, Olimar, we know. You've told me this several times during this playthrough. Oh, there's a swooping snitch bug. Okay, let's get this out of the way, because this enemy will be annoying. I don't like this enemy because it flies and it's a pain in the neck. Okay, we'll pick up your Pikmin and then drop them into the ground. So what you want to want to do is wait for its shadow to be above you. So then you can just drop it on the ground like that. Why is it not throwing them? Ugh. Come on. Its spawn radius is really annoying. Come on. Get over here. Stop running away. Okay, fine. Well, now you want to go. Gone. Annoying enemy gone. Where are the rest of my Pikmin? There we are. Still missing one, apparently. Leave those there. I'm gonna bring out about 20 yellows because we need to blow up some walls. We'll let those Pikmin go into the ground so I can get them later at the day. Uh, no blues, please. I need just yellows. Okay, we want to get rid of this wall first because it's in a really inconvenient place. Anymore? Nope, okay. They can't get the ones at the back, which is really frustrating. There's another Wallywog as well. Pretty annoying. Right, I don't know how many this needs. Okay, so it's pretty much mostly down, and with the rest of the Pikmin, where is... No, I keep pressing that wrong button. 
and go over there. The rest of our Pikmin, we want to get the rest of the bomb rocks, and yeah, I'm not getting free parts today. My practice file, I pretty much got three parts. I got one that was also in the water, which I'll get another day. Okay, we've lost a Pikmin somewhere. It fell in the water, there's nothing I can do. If I go back, it's just gonna be dead anyways. Oh well, there was not really anything I could do. Surely there's more than one bomb. Are there any more bombs? That one's in the ground. Okay, there's a bomb rock that's literally in the ground. How am I supposed to get that? Yeah, you gotta be careful to your Pikmin, because I guarantee you, that one that died, fell over, tried to run through the water. Oh great, the Wally Wog's in the way. Okay, we're good. Okay, I want to get rid of a couple of walls. We'll get rid of the ones that we need to do bomb rocks with first. And then if we have any left over, I will try to throw them at the Wollywogs because they're annoying and I want them out of the way. There's a lot of Wollywogs in this level, if you cannot tell. I'm gonna say, come on, I'm walking into you. Great, am I gonna get the same bug I had before? Okay, good, they walked off that time. That was so weird. Because I bumped into them and they didn't... were stuck. Okay, that's wall number one. Let's see if we can get the second wall out of the way as well. I doubt it because it's a stronger wall. Avoid the grass, don't want the Pikmin to get sidetracked. Okay, fine. You guys can stay there then. Number two with bombs. Okay, it's not quite gone, but it will do. Okay. We don't have much time left. What we are going to do with the time that we do have left is try to work towards one final. I don't even think I can do that, but today actually went much better than my practice file, even though I only got two parts. Okay, and I'll tell you what my plan for the next time is. So next time, I'm going to try and get this piece, or I'll leave that one actually, because that one's probably one of the easier pieces. I want to get this piece down here tomorrow, and I also want to get this one next to it. I didn't get the one to the left of the two on my practice file, because Wally Wogs like to guard it. So... I also didn't get rid of any of the gates on my practice file. Okay, I don't even have time to do that. We're just going to pluck the Pikmin and that will be all I do. I would say that this day went somewhat well. Next day, why am I missing the pick? Wrong button again. I keep pressing the wrong button. Do I even have time to get these? Just leave those in there for tomorrow. It's the only thing I could really have done. Yeah, we'll just leave them in there tomorrow, honestly. I'm going to need the blues anyways for that next couple of parts. I'd say that today went rather well.
And no Pikmin left behind. Eleven days since impact. There appears to be a large cluster of parts here. If my calculations are correct, then I should be able to recover virtually all of my missing ship parts. But, not quite all of them, unfortunately. There still seem to be some pieces that remain unaccounted for. Yes, or one of them. I must find eight more parts to further increase the dolphin's range. Yeah, we had that one death because it decided to go swimming. But, other than that, pretty good day. Thank you all so much for watching, and hope you have a fantastic day.